Waterloo is thronged with grey top hats on the days of the Ascot Race Week, and a railway ticket is a passport to Fairyland. For this is Ascot, the garden party race meeting of the year. One of the many things that go to make the charm of Ascot is the Royal Drive. Their Majesties, the King and Queen, and other members of the Royal Family ride smiling on a channel of green turf between two coastlines of cheering people. of the day's delights to masculine eyes as well as feminine, the parade of fashion. Sunshine has graced these days of racing and the care and money that are lavished upon these lovely gowns have their reward. A lot of money flows through Ascot, but it's money that gives employment to very many people. this year to notice the contrast in hats. Floral designs and straws, wide brims, narrow brims, no brims at all, and even a few knots. This is not exclusively the playground of the ultra-wealthy. Quite a lot of people who patronize Ascot can do it quite cheaply, and they don't mind a bit if they haven't been in the royal enclosure. They see the race and they point out this and that, and that's all that matters. The big race from the racing man's point of view is the Royal Hunt Cup. They're off. 29 thoroughbreds on a race of seven furlongs and a bit. Fakos, Golsonia, Burdock, Azam, Pasha all got going well. That's Golsonia in the centre with Jockey in dark silk and quartered cap and it looks as if he's a winner. But follow them round and the camera shows Couvert hiding coyly under the rails, away on the left. Couvert, ridden by young Cliff Richardson, hoops, gets a nose in front to win by a half a length from Golsonia. 